Here's Harrison, guarded by Walker. Jackson against Washington. Three-pointer, traps in the tray. Walker surveying the floor. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Harrison, still without a basket. To the right side. Washington against Jackson. And it's Washington missing. And Walker's got the ball here for the Bruins. Six-point lead. Yeah, and last year it didn't matter whether it was on the home or on the road. They failed to take a game from either of the two meetings. You know, they may have lost some confidence coming off those losses last year. They know their roster is similarly talented. You wonder if that provides extra motivation in this matchup this season. Gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Green passes to Harrison from outside off the mark. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. The shot's good from Beasley. Beasley's got eight. And because of the frame, defenders try to get physical with Darius Beasley. He says, mm, not strong enough in this one. Down low. Here's Bolden, up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Pass to Baisley. Now here's Jackson. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. Outside, Walker, a three ball. Here's Juan Gomez, it's deflected. Shot by Washington, and he's wide open. Good on the triple. He has six. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. Walker with it. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Let's it go with a three. Holden pulls it in. Holden's got four rebounds in this game. Now, Washington in the game against Chicago. Very impressive. He gets that one. Now just a one-point Bruin lead. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Timeout called the Bruins. Some changes here for the Bruins. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Baisley. Justice Winslow comes in for Davis. And Amir Coffey is subbed in for Frank Jackson. Hernan Gomez finds Winslow. Now here's Walker. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Well, Kemba knows when he's in the painted area, they will be physical with him. He's prepared and willing to fight through it. Pass to Jackson. Here's Wigington. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Just five to shoot. Jackson down low, covered by Winslow. Jackson misses. The Bruins leading by three. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Walker. No good from 11 feet. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. 132 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Bolden. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. To the middle. Here's Griffin. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. 
Boy, that bucket had a high degree of difficulty. Okay, Blake, we see you. Well, we know once a star player in his younger years, Blake Griffin Doris has smoothly transitioned to being a role player. It's a credit to him, Kevin, because injuries obviously took a toll on that incredible athleticism that we saw early in his career. You've got to give Blake a ton of credit for adapting his skill set to the modern NBA and being willing to be a mentor. Now here's Winslow. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Renan Gomez kicks to Walker. Renan Gomez with a screen for Walker. He is fifth miss. Out two for seven from the floor. Being only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Wigginton, the pass to Jackson. To the inside. Got a piece of it. Over in the corner, Livingston. Can they get it? Buries the long-range jumper. And Walker's got the ball here for the Bruins. Off target at the rim. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The Bruins on top. They lead by a bucket. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Bruins, what do you think, guys? Well, you, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. They've got Washington, and it's Wigington in at the point guard position. Chris Wigington. First personal foul, first team foul. Kaminsky finds Winslow. Here's Boston. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. And it's Davis missing. Davis has gone one of four from the field. Taking a look at the Bruins. They've got Griffin. Also, Winslow out there. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Davis. And it's Boston in at the point. Now, here's Washington. Here's Livingston. Can't tie it up as that one misses. A three from Davis. The Akite with the rebound. Being about 33% not happy with their play on that end. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Livingston with it. Griffin's there. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wigington. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Got 0 2 from deep here in the second. Davis, the pass to Griffin. Rebounded by Jackson. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Feeds it to Livingston. Here's Wigington. Hasn't made one yet. Washington, that's for two. He nails it, and we're tied up. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Winslow, the pass to Boston. Takes it inside. Outside Griffin. It's good. Griffin. Griffin's got his second basket of the game. Well, Blake Griffin understands how to score through tough contests. Excellent finish inside. Here's Wigginson. The layup off target. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. The pass to Boston. Outside Griffin. Kaminsky is screen on Jackson. Outside for Davis. 
scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. They've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Wigginton, the pass to Diakite. Winslow against Jackson. And out of bounds as the Bruins gain possession. Let's see some numbers here on Frank Kaminsky. His last 10 games, averaging nine points per game, four rebounds, and two assists. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. Pass to Green. Banked in off the glass. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Pass to Baisley. And here is Davis. Passes it to Baisley. Here's Davis. He's covered by Washington. Baisley sets a screen. Hits the three-point bomb. Davis has got five points now this quarter. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Jackson down low. Griffin is there. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Outside, Davis. And the Bruins, another three. Doris, when you and I think about the playoffs back in the bubble, you can see how much of an impact the fans have during games. Personally, Kevin, I hope never to see a bubble again because the energy and the atmosphere inside NBA arenas is so electric you can almost reach out and touch it. And obviously the players love the opportunity to perform in front of their home fans. Jackson misses. The second chance effort. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for Terrence Davis. The most positive thing about his last 10 games for the work on defense. His mindset has become very aggressive. The steals are up, and he's becoming a big factor on the defensive end. The Bruins making a switch here. Herning Gomez is checked in, and he sinks the second. Boy, guys, you have to applaud Blake Griffin's willingness to go from star to role player. There are guys who cannot handle that adjustment, but he has thrived in this new role. Here's Wigington, still scoreless. And he lobs it up toward the rim, hammers the alley through. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Davis. His last outing, he had 18 points. Turning Gomez finds Baisley. Now Griffin. Over Green. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Tenacious play there by Griffin. A kid's really good defense. But he's not one to be scared off easy. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Harrison's checked in for Washington. The Bruins also with a sub. Walker's checked in for Terrence Davis. Now here's Griffin. He has six. Kicks it to Jackson. Now here is Hernan Gomez. He's tightly guarded. And they recover it. They get it back. Out to the right wing. Outside, Walker. And they finally get it to go. A full night's work on the boards in one trip down the floor. Gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Here's Harrison. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Chicago. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. Now here's Jackson. Inside. Here's Hernan Gomez. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. And this is what the coaches want to see more of from Willie. Attacking the rim with big-time attitude. 
Harrison kicks to Green. Here's Bolden. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Bolden's got his third basket of the night right there. The Bruins leading by five. Walker the pass to Jackson. Griffin looking around. There's the pass to Walker. Krill's the three-pointer. Walker's got ten points in the game. How about the range from Kemba Walker? Boy, he's put in a lot of work to get better. Pass to Wigginton. To the paint. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Bruins? And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Terrence Davis, he's checked in for Griffin. Now here is Davis. Ten points for him. Beasley sets a screen. Jackson passes to Beasley. A slam dunk by Beasley. Quick off the floor and fluid in everything he does. Darius Beasley, that was impressive. Pass to Harrison. Here's Gray. And here's Washington outside. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Now, here's Walker. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. This is it to Baisley. The 10 footer. Here's Hernan Gomez. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Washington against Jackson. Tries it from the top of the key. Washington, that's good. Washington's got seven points here in this quarter. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Bruins, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. You know what? There was a lot of standing around in that basketball game. Failing to move bodies and failing to move the basketball is a bad formula. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. And, Kevin, every opportunity counts. It goes. Bruins' lead is cut to just five on the basket from Green. Outside, Walker. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Walker. Baseline try, Hernan Gomez. Great positioning on the putback. And the Bruins lead by seven. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Harrison passes to Bolden. To the left wing, Gray kicks to Green. Here's Washington, and it's blocked. Boy, blocking is a skill Darius Baisley is trying to develop, and that hard work paying off with a slot. And so we conclude the first half. Bruins lead by seven. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Welcome to halftime, everybody. It's been a bit of a challenge so far. One place that they're losing ground is on the backboard. And it's not that they've been terrible. They've just been simply outworked. You know what it's called, Ernie? What's that? Oh. Uh, got it. That would be called poor communication. Mmm. And now it's time to bring up the players of the month in the NBA. Over in the East, Julius Randle. You gotta be a... And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Okay. 
We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. The Bruins leading by seven. They've got Harrison. Also, Washington out there. And it's Gray in at the four-man position. Walker the pass to Baisley. He dishes it to Jackson. He kicks to Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot from 20 feet away. It's rebounded by Gray. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. And for the Bruins, Kemba Walker is out there with Jackson. Then there's Terrence Davis. Then it's Darius Baisley. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the center position. Gray inside. Guarded by Walker. Gray passes to Harrison. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Hernan Gomez has got 11 rebounds in the game. Washington out there with Harrison. And it's Green. And it's Bolden in at the five down low. That's just too easy. Kimba, the innate sense to find the open player. Well done. And for the Bruins, Arias Baisley is out there with Hernan Gomez. And there's Jackson. Then it's Walker, and it's Davis at the three slot. Here's Harrison. He has yet to score. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Walker's shot is off just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really a leading It's his first trip to the line. Yeah, it's good to see him with this free throw percentage up over 80. That free throw missing. So he comes up empty, missing both. What characteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Jackson looking around. It's rebounded by Gray. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Now the pass to Washington. The three-pointer no good. The Bruins leading by seven. Easily sets a screen. And here's Davis for three. Harrison with the rebound. Harrison's got four rebounds now tonight. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Gray, that's good. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third timeout, quarter. Timeout. timeout call for Bruins. Chance to look at the numbers now for Walker. Breaking down his play since the All-Star break. He's right around 17 points a night, five assists, and three rebounds. Even if you key in on him all game, he still finds a way to get his numbers. Right. The skill, the awareness, the physical ability, it's all there. And that's what makes this guy so hard to check. Here's Baisley. 12 points for him. Walker finds Jackson. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. Gomez with a screen on green. Five on the clock. Davis the pass to Heron Gomez. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Heron Gomez has got ten. That's one thing about Willie. He has no trouble being aggressive, particularly when operating close. Outside green. Here's Gray. He has six. Pass to Bolden. Over Herman Gomez. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. Washington against Walker. Shoots over Washington. Walker's shot is off. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Green passes to Harrison. Over Davis. Harrison kicks to Green. Hits it from three-point range. He's got 12. 
When the defense totally lost track of him, he punishes them with a three-pointer. That's a bad decision. Outside, Davis. Back to Walker. Paisley sets a screen. Fires the three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Here's a chance now to see the league leaders in three-point field goal percentage on one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Harrison. No scoring in this one. Pass to Washington. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Hernan Gomez. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The points just haven't been there. For him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. Now here is Davis. He's got 10. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Davis. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez has got four points in the quarter. You know what Willie lacks in athleticism, he makes up for with good feet and tremendous hustle. There's a screen by Washington. It goes. Bruins lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Harrison. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Walker with a screen for Hernan Gomez. Back to Walker. Three-pointer. No good there. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Here's Harrison. The 17-footer goes down. Now just a five-point Bruin lead. And Walker's got the ball here for the Bruins. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Heron Gomez. The shot's good. Hernan Gomez has got 14. Gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempt since halftime. There's Harrison. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over 8 points a game. There's the 3. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And Walker kicks to Davis. Jackson a screen on green. And here's Davis for three. A rebound by Washington. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The pass to Harrison. Back to Washington. Hands it from downtown. 18 points for him. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Timeout called the Bruins. Both teams will make substitutions. As we approach the playoffs, let's now take a look at what is shaping up in the West. Taking a look at the Bruins, it's been a rough season for them. The good news is the lottery is only a couple months away. And guys, I think for the Bruins, this is probably a season they can't get through quickly enough. It has been a disaster on all fronts. And when that happens, the talk is already about what's going to change in the offseason. And the way things have gone, there's going to be plenty of that. Now here's Walker. Ten points for him. Over Harrison. Pass to Baisley. Hernan Gomez a screen. Shot clock at six. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. You know, this guy's a team first guy. And if you're open and Baisley can put it on time and on target, he is more than willing. 
Green, the pass to Harrison. Pass to Wigginton. They set the pick. Kicks to Gray. The three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Gray's got nine points. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Now the dish to Winslow. Outside, Walker. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Darius Basie. That'll be his second foul of the game. Two so teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. On three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Over to the wing. Back to Livingston. A deft touch on the alley -oop. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Now here's Griffin. He's got six. Back to Walker. The pass to Winslow. Kaminsky inside. Guarded by Jackson. Kaminsky misses. Gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Pass to Wigginton. Here's the screen. Pass to Diakite. And out of bounds as the Bruins gain possession. A chance to check out stats for Jackson. How his last 10 games have gone. He's right around nine points a night. Six rebounds and two assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Oh, and here we go. Jackson, nobody back. And that one's good, Harrison. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. There's Winslow. Scoreless thus far. Outside, Griffin. Launches it, bangs home the trifecta. And the Bruins lead by two. One thing you have to love about Blake Griffin, understanding the three-point revolution in the NBA, he has added to his range year after year. Now, here's Washington. He's got 18. On the wing, Winslow. Passes it to Griffin. Puts up a deep three. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. The Bruins on top. They're up by two. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Jackson, and it's Livingston in at the four spot. Diakite passes to Wigginton. That three off the mark. And here's Winslow. He's looking for Griffin, finds him, and the slam by Blake Griffin. Oh, Blake Griffin at one time, the best athlete in the league, showing off his skills athletically again. I love it. There's the pick. Washington passes to Diakite with his first shot attempt. Gabriel with the rebound. The Bruins leading by four. Driving inside. He kicks it to Winslow. Oh 
Six to shoot. Right wing. Here's Griffin. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And now a six-point Bruin lead. Washington with it. And there's the pass to Wigington. That one, no good. Great D that time from Griffin. Gabriel, the pass to Winslow. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Washington against Davis. Pass to Diakite. Sweet little floater. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Now Winslow. Kicks to Griffin. Now here's Kaminsky. Pass to Winslow. Shot clock at five. Fires for three. Rebounded by Jackson. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Passes to Wigington. And the layup falls. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Winslow dishes to Davis. And the three off target. Gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. From deep Washington. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got three assists in the game. Now the pass to Davis. And again, unable to change momentum here. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Washington kicks to Jackson. Pass to Wigginton. Takes the three, and the three ball is good. Wigginton's got five points now this quarter. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Timeout called the Bruins. So it's both teams making substitutions here. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Well, I had a chance to listen in on what the Bruins head coach was going over with his guys. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one, guys. Thanks, David. Gone 4-7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Harrison passes to Washington. Green with the ball. Pass to Harrison. From past the arc. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Shoots from 12. The putback. Outside for Jackson. It's Davis on the win. He's covered by Washington. And that one's good by Davis. Gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Passes it to Bolden. Dishes it to Gray. Green the pass to Bolden. Five to shoot. Here's Harrison. Stolen by Walker. Jackson up top for the finish, and Jackson throws it down hard. Well, you can't get lazy around Kemba Walker now. He's got fast hands. He'll take it from you and be gone. 
Here's Harrison. The pass to Bolden. He dishes it to Green. Lock at six. Offensive struggles continue missing again. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Bruins. They've led by as much as 10. There's the dish to Davis. Here's Baisley. And it's off from three-point range. 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Green, no luck. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Davis kicks to Walker. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. Still the Bruins ball. Bruins ball. And it's the Bruins with the ball. It's a three-point game. Just four to shoot. Whoops, there's a 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Gone, four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Passes to Harrison. Outside Green. Now the feed to Gray. Shot clock at six. The fadeaway. And it's Baisley with the rebound. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder. And it really cost him the bucket, guys. Davis, the pass to Baisley. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. As Baisley continues to develop his game, earning opportunities at the free throw line critical. And he's good on the second. You know, he may be kicking himself for that one miss, but establishing the two possession lead was key. Here's Harrison. Off the run, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Kemba Walker picks one up. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bruins. Guys, they've done everything they can in this one to just dominate that backboard offensively and keeping control of the ball and then converting. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Pass to Bolden. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The Bruins have gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Davis in the corner. Back to Walker. There's Jackson with the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got six assists here tonight. Gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Outside, Davis. Pass to Baisley. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. Two minutes. Davis surveying the floor. And the Bruins, another three. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Washington against Jackson. There's the screen. From the baseline. It goes. Bruins lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Washington. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. 
And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Now here's Walker. It's stolen by Green. It's stolen by Davis. And even three on three break. And here's Walker. From downtown. And the Bruins, another three. Well, the ball handling is just special from Kemba Walker. This guy goes right by the defender. My goodness. Washington inside. And on Gomez on him. Can't get it to fall. Now here is Davis. Headed by Green. Running Gomez. Hits the Walker. Moves back up. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, he's in there battling, and Willie likes contact, doesn't back down, draws the foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That stretches their lead to eight. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. Washington against Jackson. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Great. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Well, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. And he commits the intentional foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Two shots. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. Disappointing day for them. Let's see if they go down with a fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out. And you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. And Walker's got the ball here for the Bruins. So it's the Bruins winning this one. That's the A game. solid win on the road for them. This building was dead you silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you very much, Blake. Another good night of work offensively. How does the team build on this? Uh, just keep that rhythm. You know, we're not always going to hit shots every night. Some nights the shots aren't going to fall. So just keeping that rhythm, keeping the ball moving, talking on defense and uh, relying on each other. Congrats on a great win, Blake. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Willie Hernan Gomez.